Hi everyone. So we at Liquid and Recast Software are really excited to announce the upcoming release of Liquid Workspace 4.2. We've got some incredibly exciting stuff that we want to talk about in this, and I'm joined by my awesome colleagues who are going to cover each of the different sections. So I'm joined by Stuart Donaldson, who will cover the Liquid Setup Store and the introduction of macOS applications. I'm also joined by Donny van der Linde, who's going to cover all the other cool things that we have in the 4.2 release. And then Nico Zeke, the master of awesomeness himself, is going to wrap up and give us a summary of everything we've talked about. So what I'm going to do first is give you the headlines, give you the, the, the most, for me, for us, the most exciting features that are being released in Liquid Workspace 4.2. So first off, as I said, we've got the expanded Liquid Setup Store. We are introducing Mac applications into the estate. You know that Liquid can already deploy applications across to Mac and Windows. Now in the Liquid Setup Store, there are Mac OS applications. Stu is going to cover that. And then we have Insights, the ability to understand how your Liquid environment is being utilized. Uh, Donnie is going to cover that, as well as performance improvements. Now, the Liquid platform is already very, very quick and very efficient when it comes to delivering applications. The team have done an amazing job at improving the performance of the platform. And then we've got script-based filtering. So if it's not in the UI, that's not a problem. You can use a script to introduce those filters into your automations. And then we've got the uninstall actions. Now, this is something that I find really exciting. All of it's exciting, but for me, this is really cool because from here, you can automatically uninstall applications, then update them or replace them. And then we've got auditing. And Donnie is going to cover all of that. And then we're going to hand over to uh, um, Nico, and Nico is going to do the wrap-up for us. So let's get on with it. What I'm going to do now is hand over to Stu. Stu, tell us all about the Liquid Setup Store improvements. Over to you, Stu. Thanks for that great intro, Ben. Hello, everybody. Today, I'm really excited to share with you the latest features of Liquid Workspace 4.2, designed to make your IT operations even smoother and more efficient than they already are. Now, we know Liquid Release and Patch Management streamlines the process of configuring, deploying, and updating applications, saving IT time uh, teams valuable time and effort. Now, with the largest third-party application catalog on the market, our Liquid Setup Store ensures that the right applications are always at your fingertips. Now, previously, this was always or this was always limited to Windows x86 and x64 applications. Now, we're thrilled to announce that Liquid Workspace 4.2 supports direct deployment, updating, and maintenance of macOS applications via the Liquid Setup Store. This means that you can manage macOS applications just as easily as your Windows apps, covering both macOS x64 and macOS ARM64 platforms. Now, in a world of zero-day vulnerabilities, Liquid Release and Patch Management significantly reduces the time between patch release and patch deployment, minimizing those security risks and keeping your system secure. Our platforms ensure that your end users always have the latest versions of their apps, making it easy to stay up to date as software evolves. Now, along those lines and to that end, we're excited to introduce support for portable applications as well as macOS apps. Portable apps mean you don't require an installation and you can keep application files and data self-contained, which allows these apps to run independently of the host OS. Now, these apps can even be uploaded to, say, a cloud storage platform like OneDrive, making it accessible from any compatible device. So those are some cool major features for Liquid 4.2, but I want to talk about some of the other enhancements that we've put in there to improve your application management experience. One, we've got shortcut applications. So you can now create and manage web links and links to native OS applications easily. Uh, uninstall actions, number two, install um, excuse me, include uninstall actions when creating managed packages along with traditional actions that you already have via the Liquid Setup Store Connector now. Uh, modifying managed package temp locations. So now we can configure that package temp directory uh, variable to define where installation logs are stored and keep the option to specify an alternate location if you need to. Uh, we can now output variables for primary uninstall applications. So New variables have been added for the primary install actions so that from the Liquid Setup Store connector, um, you can use these custom actions and create custom action sets. Uh, we have the ability to request for Liquid Setup Store wizard. So the new request product wizard has been revamped to help you find information you need more efficiently. And then finally, uh, supersedence information on managed packages. 
you'll now be able to um, be notified if managed packages have been superseded by another application in the Liquid Setup Store. So those are a lot of the uh, new features and functionality that you'll get out of Liquid 4.2. Uh, I'm going to hand it off to Donnie now, who's going to continue to run you through uh, the newest Liquid, Liquid Workspace 4.2 features. Thanks, Stu. Hi, everyone, and thank you for taking the time to watch our video. Before I start, I want to give a big shout out to our development team. The work that this team has done for this release is really amazing. If you have some spare time, please do read the release notes of 4.2 and you know exactly what I mean. We have a lot to cover, so let's get started. First feature that I want to cover is Insights. What many of you probably didn't know, that it was a, actually a hidden feature that was already available to our team. However, it was somewhat limited in functionality. But now, in the new version, the Insights are a lot more extensive. Liquid Workspace enables your end users to access their resources and application. Therefore, it's important to gain insights in your environments. Now it's possible to get real-time insights on your resources. If you want, you can even go back in time. This feature allows you to get a true understanding of what's actually happening on your server. When you're on MSP and you host Liquid for your customers, you get insights on that zones that you are hosting or get insights on the servers that are installed with Liquid Workspace. The metrics that are available are web requests, bandwidth, events, users, device, and tasks. The second topic that I will now cover is about performance improvements. It's not really a feature, but it's still important to cover. With Liquid Workspace 4.2, we introduce a new performance improvements across the system. In addition to these changes, some of the components have been upgraded to the latest versions of .NET ensuring support for the latest operating system and taking advantage of the performance improvements. Just like Ben already mentioned, Liquid was quite fast, but it makes the UI much more faster when making changes or running queries. The next one is all about script-based filtering. If there is a certain filter that's not in our UI, no problem. You now have the option to create your own filter with a custom script. You can, all, so you can use all the script languages that are supported within Liquid. This feature allows you to check values or set, re set return codes that you should be evaluated by the defined operators. It enables the handle of complex scenarios that are impossible to cover with the predefined filter sets. There are two filter scripts options available, run uploaded filter script or run filter script which uses a local script that's already installed on the device. This feature is one of my personal favorites because I know that many partners in the Netherlands are waiting for this one. It's all about licensing users with PowerShell. It's now possible to request license users information with the get liquid sound sampled. I have now only one thing to say to all the IT admins. Happy PowerShelling. Save the best for last. This is an important one and in my opinion, a welcome new feature. Auditing. Auditing enables you to have more control over your environment by tracking all the changes made within Liquid Workspace. This feature allows you to track multiple changes made on an identity, as well identify potential mistakes. Auditing becomes especially powerful when combined with event collectors, levering the insights gathered in your SIEM system to ensure, ensure your organization is compliant. Now that security is an important part of every organization, this is again a welcome feature. We can display all the changes in one click in a Liquid Workspace when using the auditing option on the system. This will give you an overview of all the changes in your Liquid Workspace environment. You can also find auditing as an option within packaging, deployment, scheduled tasks, and many more. This allows you to get some more specific auditing, auditing information about uh, for example, a package. So, this was my part of the video, and I will now hand it over to Nico. Nico, the floor is yours. Goodbye from me. Well, thank you, Donny, for this great overview. I will just wrap it up right now, just give you guys a little recap of what we've been doing. Liquid 402 is packed with new cool new features. One of them, of course, is our new setup store connector. It gives you now the ability to deliver actual Mac applications and updates straight from our setup store. On the other hand, you really want to see what's going on in your environment. So the cool new feature, of course, is auditing. And I know everybody is really, really excited to get, get ready for it. So there are a couple of things you can do right now. 
First, you can go to a website to request a demo, if you don't already have your liquid environment running, of course. You can send an email to the sales team uh, or contact one of our SEs that you just saw in this video. The other things, of course, you need to read the, the release notes. The release notes, you can see what's actually been changed. Be careful, of course, when updating your environment. There is an, a document how to update your environment on docs.liquid.com. For all the other things, just reach out to us if you have any, if you have any questions. For this, I want to thank you for watching and enjoy updating your liquid environment.